cut costumes work too. Mm -hmm. Well, first up today, a fall festival that has something for every nature lover, whether you like hiking, wagon rides, or apple cider. Or maybe you like chainsaws, bats, and snakes. I don't know. Is that your thing? Tom <laughs> Finley's here That's from the Schlitz Audubon Nature Center to tell us more. And if you, if you brought that little snake, I'm going to just... It might be around here somewhere. We were, <laughs> I, you do, okay. we were do you have a snake in a bag? Earlier. I will say, when there's I walked over here, here, there's a bag with, you. with butterflies on it moving. That's cute, isn't it? It's not moving <laughs> anymore. <laughs> That be good. Up. You got to stay tuned. Okay, <laughs> wherever it is, I want nothing to do with it. But you have some stuff. What's sure. going on this weekend? What do you guys have sure. going well, on? Thanks for having me. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's our thanks annual. Thanks for having me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be here after you ripped me apart. <laughs> it's our annual yeah. fall festival over at Schlitz Audubon Nature Center, and as as families know from the area, it's a great time of the year to be outside. And gorgeous fall season is upon us. So we've got. Sweep netting. So one of the little props I brought with me oh, is, a, yeah. is a classic sweep net here. So, and this, you guys will like this one. We caught okay. some insects earlier, and you can see them. Well, here, go ahead. I'll let you find them. Oh, uh, okay, Molly. Now oh, see, there's a dragonfly. Oh, okay, right, okay, see. okay. This is All safe right. for yeah, me. Yeah. Okay, see Grass the dragonfly. Grasshopper. Yeah. Grasshopper. Uh -huh. Beautiful swallowtail butterfly there. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so those it's a really delicate net, and uh, it doesn't harm the animals, and kids can get outside in our prairie and. That's Catch cool. The so they can use it know. for real insects and animals. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, insects, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And insects, right. Yep, what other absolutely. kinds of things are there for kids and families to do? Sure. There's some wonderful arts and crafts projects. So, mm -hmm. of course, kids love to decorate cookies, so they'll be doing that. This is a uh, Native American craft, actually. Oh, that's cool. That's a corn, corn husk doll. Yeah. That so, is yeah. really cool. Yeah. It's, okay. it's neat. It's recycled in a way because a corn husk would be... Will waste they make material. That? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have that. We have that there for them, and so they can make the cookies, decorate the cookies, and take home a little corn husk doll too. Mm -hmm. That's really. Why cool. do you want kids to come out and enjoy the the Schlitz Audubon Center? What's sure. the purpose of getting them there? Getting outside is so healthy for us. I mean, think about the mental and physical benefits that being outside gives to our families. A lot of us take that for granted, right? We grew up that way, but yeah. in today's world. We're all plugged in, and so sometimes it's good to unplug a little bit, get outside, and fall is a wonderful time to do it. And so this Sunday, the 11th, it'll be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and kids can hike. There'll be guided hikes, as you mentioned a moment ago. There's going to be these great uh, opportunities to go on a, 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 a wagon ride and to see the chainsaw carving demonstration. That's going to be new for us. So everybody's excited to have that. And yes, of course, live animals. You didn't, well, you, didn't I think, <laughs> you didn't think I would ignore that. <laughs> so, right, what Ma, do you, you have right, in there? Actually. So it is a bag that does move. Okay. So all right, it's okay. You won't, what you kind won't. of snake is it? This is called. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so this is great. This is a butler's garter snake. You see, I even have the the net here so just okay in case. just to keep us yeah, safe it's a nice little very very calm snake as you can see i'm hardly holding on to it at all it doesn't jump too far it i don't mind it won't clear the i table. really don't mind big snakes the little yeah. ones i just <laughs> I well i think the thing with little ones is you 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 have the sense they could sneak into your bed and you wouldn't know it yep well yep. I, I don't know. Where do these Maybe. guys yeah. exist? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, is this one dangerous or poisonous? Not at all. Okay, so in, in Wisconsin, virtually all the snakes are going to be not venomous. Uh -huh. There are just a couple in very small parts of the western, western side of the state where there are venomous snakes, and they're extremely rare. Uh -huh. And so anything you'd see here, like literally 90% of the snakes you would see in our area are going to be garter snakes, butler's garter snakes. Not venomous. What, kind, what does this snake eat? So this is just a small guy, as you can see, and this is going to eat worms and insects. Okay, not mice. Yeah. Uh, if they get a little bit bigger, they certainly could. Okay. This is just maybe three or four years old. Why do you think people are so afraid of snakes? It's an interesting question. Most of us as kids caught garter snakes just like this yep. one. Yeah. And to protect themselves, they can be a, a little bit on the aggressive side. This one, as you can see, has got a great disposition. Does he have a name? It's actually a girl. It's oh. uh, her name is Rogue, like from the X Men. Oh. Rogue. Now, how do so, you know it's a girl? Uh, you can, if we can carefully flip it over. It's not easy to tell. Okay. You have to look at the yeah. underside here. Okay. So, this little white line. Yep. Is called a cloaca, and that's the oh, yeah, opening not... for various things. Okay. And from there down to the tip of the tail, it's a, it's a quicker taper for the female than it is on the male. So the male from here down would be longer. And so this is a, f a female. 
Okay. And they can live to be maybe 10, 12, 15 years in captivity. Maybe not quite no, so long. No, is she in less comfortable right now because you flipped her over? Uh, maybe so. They, they like to, you know, they, first of all, they're cold blooded, as you know, yeah. right? E ectothermic. And so she's just enjoying the warmth of my hands, right? I'm 98.6 degrees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they and come to me. Loves it. <laughs> it's so, hot. so yeah, it's, it's feeling good. But they they want to find a nice dark little spot to to hide in, which is why it likes the the bag, which is just a travel bag. Keep in mind, it doesn't live in there. We have a right. nice tank for it at the nature center. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. I think yeah. it's great for kids to be able to see things like this up close and personal. Maybe it helps reduce fear in some of us to be able to see it a little bit more up close right. and personal. They they they're really calm as long as you know how to handle them and you aren't afraid mm -hmm. they yeah. they can snap or bite to defend themselves and sometimes they musk but you know really that it's a decent animal it's all you yeah. tom yeah it's, it's a decent it's animal thanks, the, <laughs> ball festival <laughs> at the schlitz audubon center is going on on sunday october 11th it's from 10 to 4 uh you can stop on out on east brown deer road schlitzaudubon.org it's just five dollars for members non-members adults ten dollars youth five dollars uh, that's where you can go for more information it's schlitzaudubon.org. All day. Thank you here. so much for having us. Yeah, oh, 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 it. up your sleeve. It's gone. I'm, whoa, this could be a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Okay. Do you need help? I'm good. Okay. Yeah, All right. So. Coming up on the show. <laughs>